In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to take you on a huge thrifting spree that I went on with my mom and sister. We hit two great Salvation Armies and we scored big time. Just look at these scales. They are only $4.99. So if you're ready to have some thrifting fun and find those great deals, then let's do this. Now, before we get started, I just want to welcome anyone who's new here. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. If you're interested in learning how to do some of this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Well, our first stop was at the Salvation Army in West Bloomfield, Michigan. My mom had never been there before, so this was a really good one and I wanted to take her there. Now, I had went there back in May. Remember when I got the flat tire? If you haven't had a chance to watch that, make sure you do, because it's a really good one. I totally scored that day. I could not believe the amount of stuff I found. Anyway, I was back at the Salvation Army, and I couldn't wait to see what we were going to find. Oh, that's cute for Thanksgiving. Yeah. I thought this was adorable, and you always got to think ahead with your seasons. Wow, oh, that's really beautiful. It How is. much is it? $16. What's the ticket today? I probably should have got a picture of that, huh? I think it looks blue. This is even cute, too. Yeah, that was my favorite. If it's blue, half off. Oh, you know we got that. Oh. Did someone say blue tag day? Because I'm seeing this big clock that I want right here. I just found out it is blue tag day. I might have to get this. Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh, my gosh. We could put, like, a sign behind it. It's brand new. It still has the tag on it. You know, I'm going to have to get this, too. It's $4.99. Oh, my mom's already got some cute stuff here. Are you finding this? Let me see. This is really different. That is different. It reminds me of like a, a witch's kind of thing, doesn't it? A little bit? No. I thought about maybe putting some uh, greenery. Yeah. You know, just a few sprigs in it. Yeah. I've never seen one like this. And it's a blue tag, so it's half off. Hey, it's worth a gamble, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm going to have to get it. Like, I don't have enough chickens. Chickens always sell so good for me, so that's why I always buy them. This huge one. I don't know, it might be too big. This is a good place to get your fall decor. Here's some leaves. You can add. Look who's hiding here. It's a flower planter. I think we're gonna have to get that. Oh, I love these. Look at the color of them. They're just the perfect shade. Yep, I'm gonna put them in the basket. Now this is a cool basket. It looks almost like lattice. It's white, it's distressed. And it's half off. Wow, look at this candlestick. It has the perfect look. I'm gonna have to get this, it's only $2.99. Oh my gosh, an Etch-a-Sketch. Yeah, it still works. My mom's having fun with this Etch-a-Sketch here. Yeah, you don't see those very often. No, you don't. I'm seeing this broom back here that I want to get. If I don't knock everything down trying to get it. I want to get this broom here. been on a broom kick lately. 
This one's a little cheaper though. So I'm gonna pass on it, but I did find some really awesome brooms on Facebook Marketplace, and you will see them in a project very soon. But it just has this weird looking tail. I don't know, I showed my mom and she's like, what is that? Needless to say, I just passed on it. Look at it, even my sister's looking at home goods. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See, you hang around. Bad. <laughs> yeah, you hang around with us. <laughs> You're a bad influence. Now my sister, she normally just looks at clothes when we go. So this is my <laughs> sister's cart. She got all clothes, right? Right. <laughs> if you remember back to the thrifting with my sister video, she was looking at all antique clothing. And she even almost got this dress. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video, I'll leave a link for you. Oh, I love that frame, Mom. That's cute. Well, it looks that. like the beaded. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, I would have definitely got that. And that's what, two ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, I would have got that. I'm gonna that. do that for Halloween. Oh, for Halloween, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that too. How much is that one? Two ninety nine. Oh, that's to totally worth it. You can put pumpkins in there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some of this will be taken out. Heaven knows I have enough greens at oh, home. Oh, I know you have a lot so of I'm greens. I'm just going to pull some of this out. Okay. And put maybe some sunflowers in it. Got it. For fall. Yeah. But, the but urn that urn is, is pretty. Yeah, that so urn is really pretty. The greenery is okay. It just needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. You know. But oh, that's yeah. a pretty one. Very There's cute. No price. So I got to find I just did out. a project with one of those. Did you? Mm-hmm. I have to have this. This is so cool. I can totally see it being just like an accessory on top of a book. We're getting this. Look at the color of these. These are like perfect for Halloween. You could take some coffee stained paper, maybe print out the witch's lantern on it, and you could take some jute and wrap that around just to hold that in place. They would be really cool. Now these are really beautiful candlesticks, but they're three for $29. So I'm gonna pass on them. Oh, I spy an antique stool. $4.99, how can I pass this up? All right, I think we did pretty good at the Salvation Army, but we are heading to another one, which is even better. But not before we go to the dollar store next door. My mom loves going here because she can find like some really cute accessories to go along with her items. I'm not too much into the dollar store, but every now and then I do come across some really cool stuff when I go with her. Like this, I totally could see that in some kind of arrangement that I might do. I might have to get this. Now, I like these berries. I actually like both colors. One for fall, one for Christmas. What are you finding there? Like oh, look at this. They're felt, you guys. Dollar store. <laughs> Who would have known? And what, they have white ones, too? Yeah. Oh, we gotta get some. Then surprisingly, I came across these. These look like they're velvet. They're not bad at all. And look at, they even have them in green. All right, we're at the Salvation Army in Walled Lake. This one is a really nice one. I was here before, now I'm taking my mom and sister. This is absolutely perfect. This is the first thing I found here. I could sell this in a heartbeat, but I think I might keep this. Yeah, let's just put that in the basket there. It's a keeper.
Now this here, I could have done something really awesome with it, but I am kicking myself because I ended up passing on it. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's move on. Oh, these are super cute. I totally could see you could put like a Halloween ghost in there. You could put like a spider. They're just super cute. Yeah, I'm gonna get these. Now I was really glad that I came across this. I love it because it looks old and I have the perfect project in mind that I'm gonna use it in and you will see that very soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did I not see these catalog drawers? Now I'm really kicking myself on this one. There's so much to look at here in this store. It's incredible. I love this. My story isn't over yet. I hope everyone feels like that. Like there's always something to look forward to. This is cute, but I'm not sure what I would do with this. I think I told you guys before, I love the wood aisle. I'm like a moth to the flame when it comes to the wood aisle. Oh, you look at here. I love this tray and I definitely know that I could do something cool with it. There's no way I can pass this up. Holy moly, look at that farmhouse sign across from us. There's so much stuff here, I can't believe it. Look at this, I even found this. This makes my day, I love this. All right, let's go check on my mom, see how she's doing. Well, she wasn't doing too bad herself. Look at these scales she found. Five bucks. You need to grab them all. And that she did because these were an absolute still. Oh my gosh. So we just came across these scales. There's like four or five of them. They're five bucks. Isn't that cute? You gotta get that too. Can't be no more than five dollars. Throw it in the basket. I will. This is a cool basket too here. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. This is interesting. We gotta get this. I put it in my mom's basket. She's doing pretty good, I'd say. We both are. Yep, 
This is where I got those bunt pans from. And you saw that project. Oh, that's pretty bright. But you know what, that's gonna give us a good base coat. And this is how they came out. I think they turned out awesome. And that video got over 100,000 views. If you didn't see it and you want to see some trash to treasure makeovers, I will leave a link for you. So obviously you know I bought these because you've seen them in the video. And here's the big bunt pan that I came across and used for the large pumpkin. Do you guys remember this? I bought one of those when I went to the best barn sale ever, but she had the most beautiful flowers in them. I loved it. So that's something you definitely could do with this, and it's only $6.99. Wow, those are some pretty dishes. Oh, let's take a look at him. I totally could see him being like in a Christmas display, a snow owl, he's shimmery. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get him too. That's cool for Halloween. Yeah. Eastery. Eastery. I saw that too. I thought that was that's really cute. cute. Yeah. It's only dollar ninety nine. Oh yeah, that's really cute. You could actually just put it on the thing or put a little snowman mm -hmm. in it. What do you got underneath there? Oh, Christmas one slice. I hope this is cool. Black music for Halloween. It looks like a gate. How much is that? $3.99. Yeah. yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, that's a good idea. Totally scored on these, though. So. <laughs> this is like incredible. Yeah, yeah you're not kidding. There's no price on it. Can't be very much. Yeah, Take it. This would be so cute for Christmas. You could put a seedling in there, so I think we're gonna have to get this. Wow, they got the mason jars. All you'd have to do is paint them up, find maybe like a wood box, put three in there with greenery, and you could definitely sell those. This would be a great jar to put an apothecary label on there. I love this clean and classic look of this butter dish. You could put a decal on there that says butter and the long letters and it would look really good. This was really cool. I could see that during Christmas time being draped over a chair. This one was really beautiful, but it was $20 and I just did not want to spend $20, but it just had that rich look to it. I was really surprised because in the linen section, they had these sconces that someone probably was trying to hide away. They're very royal looking. If you painted them like a flat black or you even did them in white and distressed them, they could look really sharp. Now, I don't care for this finish, but you could paint this and it could look gorgeous. Now, I know this statue is probably something none of you would ever get, However, if you were to make that look like cement and put it in a garden around a whole bunch of plants, it could really look like something that would stand out. Do you remember when my mom, Debbie, and I went to that store called 235 and she had all the plants and statues? This is what it could look like. It's just a thought if you're thinking out of the box. What'd you get? 
I got two of these little black and white boxes. They're uh, blue tags, so they're a dollar each. But I've seen them where they just attach the back, put a little bit of snow, a reindeer, and a little small little tree or something. For oh, that would be really, really Christmas. Cute. Because this is good. Yeah, that's, that's uh, a great idea. Yeah. And you got those little trees too? Yeah. Find a little galvanized bucket. And that's a blue tag. Okay, so a dollar. Dollar. Just stick the little tree in. Oh, yeah, and that's you perfect. Put a little snow around the bottom, and you got a cute little tree. Nice. You look like you got a lot kind of going through the cart here. We weren't sure about this, but it looks like the label comes off here. And we can do some kind of witch's label on there, right? Yeah, or have a skeleton climbing out of it. Oh, that would be cute too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, we will get that. We weren't sure about that, but we'll get that one. Now, I'm seeing these everywhere. People are making pumpkins out of them. This one I definitely want because it's really cool. Okay. So we're gonna get these for pumpkins. I really like that basket. I don't know how much it is, but if it's not too much, I'd like to get that. I definitely wanna get that, unless you want it. If you want it, that's okay. No, you can take it. This was only $4.99, and look at that, you guys. Yeah, love, good. love, love. All right, so that's a keeper. I just found this one. It's $2.99. I don't know. Okay, now the handles are pretty, like, I don't know. How much is it? It says $8.99. Eight yeah. But it would be good for one of my stencils. You True. know what I mean? Well, that's up to you. Yeah. I might still get that one. Mm. Yeah, I always sell these and signs. This is only this is only a dollar, so. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Bride and groom, there might be somebody who wants that. It wasn't Let's too much money. Over. For Christmas, a snow owl. Yeah, he's cute. Isn't he cute? I can see him with a whole bunch of white stuff. Well, you just gotta hook this on. We are hiring full and part time. Please speak to our manager at Ben And thank you for always shopping. $8. Salvation Army. It was $8, but look at it. I mean, it looks like fall, right? Yeah, it's cool. Put some flowers or something in it. This, I don't know how much it is, but those are always good. The accordion. Those were cute. Put something in it. Mm -hmm. This is badly painted. See? Yeah. And it's six dollars, so I don't know. I'll pass on it. You'd pass on that one? Yeah. These two. Yeah, those two. Alright. This one I want to keep for myself. I love it yeah, so much. Yeah, that's good. Look at that. Blue tag. It was. It was, but I don't know what it was. Oh. Well, they'll have to figure it out. Yeah, keep that. That was the first thing I found. $1.99, that's not bad. It, mm -hmm. it looks, you know. No, this is good. All right. Yeah, I, they're good. I don't know. Yeah, all right. So just maybe those two things. Yeah. We'll get rid of those two things back there. Mom, I think we have lost our mind. What do you think? No, not yet. And this is just your stuff. No, no, this is some of my stuff too. Yeah. But my mom has two shopping carts here and I still have to unload mine. Thanks, Kim. Kim got her clothes. Oh, yeah. She could probably sit with it in the front seat. Yeah, mom's like, oh, you're gonna have to move your clothes. I got a little <laughs> bag in there. So my mom and I actually got done saying we don't need anything, and now we're all trying right. to figure out how we're gonna pack all this stuff. 
My sister's putting her seat down here. Kim, you're really gonna have to move your clothes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. They're just taking up way too much room. Way too much. Well, I think we had a pretty successful shopping day and what better way to end the day than go out and get a little something to eat. We're gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory because it's right around here and I haven't been to one of those in about 20 years. So we're gonna go eat at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm really excited. Okay, so while we're waiting for a table, I'm just gonna show you this Cheesecake Showcase. They have every kind of cheesecake you can think of. Tiramisu. Godiva, pineapple upside down. They have every kind of cheesecake. So we're definitely gonna get one at the end for dessert. We all started out with a salad and then you have to see the entrees. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks amazing. Oh wow, look at my sister's, it looks amazing. What is this, Kim? Four cheese pasta. Oh wow. And here's my mom, she got, what'd you get mom? Flat bread, pizza with um, basil, tomatoes, and mozzarella cheese. Oh, looks amazing. And of course she had to have her milk. Too. And then we all had to finish with a piece of cheesecake, of course. Is yours good? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed going thrifting with us. I'm so glad you could come along. And I wanna let you know that my mom has finished a lot of that Halloween stuff that she had talked about in the video. I also have put the pumpkins into my booth. So if you go to Kletz, you'll be able to see our booth. And also last week, we had went to Claire, Michigan, and we went to the Amish flea market. Well, there was a lady there who also has a booth at Kletz. Her booth is called Cinder. And I went ahead and filmed her whole booth so that you could kind of see what she does as well. As you can see, she has some really nice farmhouse items. And she actually has three booths there, which I'm gonna show you the other two in just a second. So as you can see, she has a lot of glassware and she also has just a big variety of things available. I like that watering can. I didn't see it when I was taping, but I see it now. That rooster is really cool too. Now here's her second booth that she has. That birdhouse is really pretty. And I totally could see that hand in a display. This is like pretty in pink. Again, she just has a really nice variety of different things. And let's go ahead and look at our third booth. Oh my gosh, weren't we just talking about these heads? And I think we even saw one at that store, 235. I didn't check what price this was at Cinder's booth, but I'm sorry I didn't because I'm really liking these. These boxes are really cute, I like those. Oh my gosh, there's another head planner. I'm gonna have to get one of these. I love the picket fence shelf. So if you see anything in one of Cinder's booths that you like, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can get a hold of her. If you haven't been to Kletz, it's worth the drive out there. There's a lot to see. Not only are we there, but there is also a lot of great vendors. And everyone, I want you to meet Sue. Sue works behind the desk and I just love her. And here's Sue. She's at the desk. Hi, Sue. Hi. She is such a lovely person. And do you know that her husband makes all these cool spoon rings? I love to showcase local talent and he definitely makes some really nice jewelry. So if you're looking for a unique piece of jewelry, I have just the thing for you. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. So yeah, our booth is completely packed and we have a lot of great Halloween items among other things. I really think I'm gonna need a store soon, you guys. What do you think? 
And don't forget, this weekend is Springfield. I cannot believe it's here. I am so excited for this weekend, and I can't wait to meet all of you that are going to be there attending. Remember, we will be meeting on Saturday, September 17th at 2 o'clock at this big ice cream cone. You can't miss it. It's huge. Also, my Etsy shop will be on vacation while I'm on vacation because obviously I can't fulfill your orders. But on Monday, it will be back open and we will resume business as usual. I've been working on some new fall products that I'm going to be launching soon. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.